Okay, this lesson is on the metric system. Before we start with that, let's uh, start with something maybe we're more familiar with. What's called the U.S. customary units. You know them. The foot, gallon, pound. Do you know them? Let's find out. I'm going to give you some little problems here, and I'm going to suggest you take out a piece of scrap paper right now and just jot the answers down. That's all you have to do. See how many you get, you get right. It'll be nine questions. See if you get all nine of them correct. This is a system we use, right? I'm not sure if it's a system, but it's, it's the units we use. So, ready for the first one? A foot equals how many inches? You probably know this one, right? Do you get that one to be 12? Good. A yard equals how many feet? Hmm, a little harder maybe. Maybe not. Did you put down three? Good. Try this one now. A mile equals how many feet? I'll let you think about that one. Got your answer written down? Was it 5,280? Hmm. Okay, let's switch to volume. A gallon equals how many quarts? Got your answer? Was it four? Quart means quarter gallon, so it makes sense that it's four. How about this? A quart equals how many pints? Hmm. Did you answer two? A pint equals how many cups? Like measuring cups. That's right, two. Last one. A cup equals how many fluid ounces? Hmm. You thinking 12? Maybe 16? Or were you thinking 8? That's the correct answer. Hmm. Okay, let's switch to weight. A pound equals how many ounces? Not to be confused with fluid ounces, but just weight ounces. Hmm. A baby weighs 7 pounds, 4 ounces. How many more ounces does it take before it gets to the next pound? Were you thinking 16? Good. And this is a surprising number of people know the answer to this, even though they've never dealt with a ton of anything, probably. A ton equals how many pounds? Answer, 2,000. So let's look at these numbers. <laughs> 12, 3, 5,280, 4, 2, 2, 8, 16, 2,000. What's the connection? What's the pattern? What's the system? There isn't one. Another question is, what's the connection between a foot and a gallon? Does a foot by foot by foot, a cubic foot, a box that big equal a gallon? No, a cubic foot's about 7.48 gallons. Not a very easy number to deal with. And what about the connection between gallons and pounds? Does a gallon of water weigh a pound? No, a gallon of water weighs about 8.34 pounds. Again, not an easy number to deal with. My point in all this is, there is no point. <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason. There's no pattern. There's no system. We don't like this, okay? So, the metric system is all based on this guy right there, the meter. It's all based on that. Meter, liter, gram. But it's still all based on the meter, as you'll see. Try answering these questions. One meter equals how many millimeters? Hmm, 12? Hmm. 5,280? Try 1,000. How easy is that? Or, how about a kilometer equals how many meters? Hmm, 4, 16? Mm -mm. It's 1,000 again. And the word kilometer gives that away. It means 1,000 meters. Essentially, the question gives away the answer. Try this one. A liter, how many milliliters? Hopefully, you're seeing a pattern here. <laughs> That's right, 1,000. And... One kiloliter, which you don't hear very often, we'll see later on why we don't hear kiloliter, but it's a perfectly good unit, equals how many liters? <laughs> a thousand. Hope you're getting a perfect score on these. Last two, one gram equals how many milligrams? Are you thinking a thousand? And one kilogram, in other words, one thousand grams, equals how many grams? That's right, a thousand. Definite system here. And more importantly, or equally importantly, there's a connection between these. A meter is related to a liter, and a liter is related to a gram. Let's talk about how that works. So, first the connection between a meter and a liter. Check this out. If we take a tenth of a meter, now that's often called a decimeter, okay? And we take a box that is exactly that size, one decimeter by one decimeter by one decimeter. In other words, it's a cubic decimeter. You got that? You know what you've got? You've got a liter. 
A lot of people know the metric system, but they don't know that connection, that a meter cut to one-tenth, in other words, a decimeter, a box made that's a decimeter by a decimeter by a decimeter, a cubic decimeter, is the same thing as a liter. I mean, exactly the same. What an easy connection that is. I could measure a fish tank, for instance, in decimeters and figure out very quickly how many liters it can hold. Can't do that so easily with feet and gallons. Okay? I'm going to go a step further than that. Imagine a box that's a tenth of a decimeter. In other words, it's a hundredth of a meter. That's referred to as a centimeter. We'll get back to these metric prefixes in a bit. A box that's a centimeter by a centimeter by a centimeter. In other words, a cubic centimeter. How many of those could fit in that cubic decimeter? Well, you're probably thinking 10 because it's a tenth of a decimeter. But wait a second. 10 of them would just fit along one little edge like that. Okay, so you're thinking 100. No, 100 of them would just fill up one face of this box. That's right. It's 10 by 10 by 10. In other words, a thousand cubic centimeters, that's how many would be in a cubic decimeter. So, another way of saying that is this little cubic centimeter is one one thousandth of a liter. And the prefix for one one thousandth is milliliter. That's an important connection. A cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. Okay? If you want to get a visual on a milliliter, imagine a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder filled up just to the one milliliter mark. Also, cubic centimeter, you may have heard that called a cc. Syringes and medicine is often delivered in ccs. Same thing. Cubic centimeter, cc, milliliter, they're all the same. How easy is that? What if we go the other direction? That is, we make a box that is one meter by one meter by one meter. Ten times a decimeter cubed. That would be a cubic meter. How big would that be? Well, by the same token, there'd be a thousand of those cubic decimeters in that cubic meter. So that cubic meter would be, that's right, 1,000 liters in size, because it's 10 by 10 by 10 decimeters. In other words, a cubic meter would be the same thing as a kiloliter. And I mentioned earlier that you don't often hear kiloliters. That's because a more common way of saying that is just plain old cubic meters. Okay? They mean the same thing. But now the question is, now those are three things that are worth noting there. I'll go over them again in the middle. A cubic decimeter, exactly the same thing as a liter. Go smaller than that, you get a cubic centimeter, the same thing as a milliliter. Go bigger instead, and you get a cubic meter, is the same thing as a kiloliter. Okay? But what's the connection between all those and the grams? Because I said they're all connected. They're all based on the original meter. Well, here it is. That one milliliter of liquid we talked about before, assume that's one milliliter of water. Guess what you've got? You've got a gram. That's right. A milliliter of water weighs a gram. Now, technically speaking, water expands and contracts a little bit at different temperatures. So they decided for this to be really precise. We'll take water at its most dense, which happens at 4 degrees Celsius. But even at room temperature, a milliliter of water is still pretty much a gram. Okay? What does that mean about a liter of water? Hmm. Well, if you've been following what I've been saying, a liter would be a thousand times bigger. So a liter of water equals one kilogram. Okay? So it's a nice little easy visual. You go and pick up a one liter water bottle. It's filled with water. You've just picked up a kilogram. And what if I took my huge meter by meter by... That's a huge tank right there. One meter by one meter by one meter. That's like as large as a big freezer or something like that. If that were filled with water, one kiloliter of water would weigh 1,000 kilograms or one new prefix here. It would weigh one megagram. That's a million grams. Wow. There's a more common term for that, and that is it's called a metric ton. So a cubic meter of water, you can visualize that. A tank that's a meter by a meter by a meter, fill it with water, you've got yourself a ton. Essentially close to 2,000 pounds, 2,200. So there it is. You have a visual on what a ton is.